In this week's edition of A Life in Lyrics, Sir Paul McCartney discusses the meaning of Hey Jude, a song that many people enjoy from the Beatles. I like my songs to be for every guy or every woman because I know people are going to listen to them, Macca said, admitting that he enjoys it when fans misunderstand his words. I enjoy it when they put their own spin on the lyrics, and it makes me happy when they mess up or misunderstand them because then it's really yours. You are free to do with it what you want now that I've let it go. Pay close attention to the recording of Hey Jude. There is infamously some unintended cursing. In an interview with podcast host Paul Muldoon, McCartney revealed that Ringo returned from the restroom at the same moment that McCartney had inadvertently started the song, allowing him to strike his drum introduction with pinpoint accuracy. It was the most energetic approach, even though it made several errors. You might be able to pick out a member of the band cursing if you listen closely enough. Keep this in mind the next time Paul messes up the piano solo. After John Lennon's son, Julian's father, divorced his first wife for Yoko Ono, the 81-year-old Beatles explained how he composed Hey Jude for Julian. Maka debunked the rumor that he had feelings for Cynthia Lennon by recounting the events. In an interview, he said that he had once referred to Julian Lennon as Jules while on the road to visit his mother, Cynthia. It was a 45-minute journey outside of central London when the music began to play. And rumor had it that I was going out with Cynthia because I fancied her. Anyone can make a suggestion, but I chose not to. As a friend, I was merely going out to see them. Hey, Jules, don't make it bad, I thought to myself. I realize this is hard for you to hear, but there is a way to lift a depressing music. Your father has just abandoned you. It was an effort to provide encouragement, basically. Therefore, the song was motivating, 